Put a smile on your face When you're moving from place to place, place. Good morning, good morning, morning Good morning, morning Good morning, viewers. We're just at about 7.39 a.m. And welcome back to the Tobago Updates Morning Show, coming to you here live from the Fort Mall in Scarborough, Tobago. And in this segment, we have the opportunity to be chatting as we speak the new Rotary year, 2023-2024. And we have uh, on set with us President of the Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago, Anne-Marie Davis, and Secretary of the Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago, Anisha Karut Walcott. Good morning to you all Good and welcome. Morning. Good morning. All right. And, and viewers, <laughs> if you know me any at all, you know that Rotary is near and dear to my heart. <laughs> also serving in the organization as assistant governor. And, and this morning we're having a conversation as we speak Rotary mm -hmm. International. We speak about the start of the new year. So let's start off from there, chatting with our president, Anne-Marie. We've got the start of the new year. What team are we working under for this new year? Okay, good morning to everyone, good morning to the listening audience. The theme for this year is Create Hope in the World, and I think it's very relevant in this time due to the fact that so many people are feeling hopeless due to, you know, maybe the effect of the pandemic, due to family situations, financial stress, and all of that. So we as Rotarians, we want to see if we can engender hope in individuals in Trinidad and Tobago. All right. Tell us about the experience thus far, having taken on the president's <laughs> responsibility, handing over took place and so on, yes. and now, now wearing uh, the, the medallion oh uh, that takes that role <laughs> and the leadership for the Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago. It has been so far good, I must say. It, it, it's a lot of work, and it um, entails a lot of planning and organization. You have to be organized in order to take on a role of, you know, such a magnitude. And... Um, I have a wonderful team working with me, so that makes my job so much easier. You know, I have a very efficient secretary, the person of Anisha sitting next to me. And I also have other dedicated board members who do what is expected of them and who perform their roles and functions very efficiently. So, so far, knock on wood, no problems. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Anisha, tell us a little bit from where you sit. I know you've been a member of the, the, the Rotary Club yeah. and now taking on this role as secretary. Mm. Well, the good thing is that I got my duties were hand, handed over from no uh -huh. president. Um, she was a very efficient secretary, and I know she would make a very efficient president as well. Um, she has been very, um, what should I say? It has been, the role has been quite demanding, you know, balancing with studies, work. But I have taken on the responsibility. Um, it entails, you know, making sure that, you know, you, make, you keep proper records of um, the the minutes, um, membership, uh, the members, members are always up to date. Um, and it was sort of a smooth transition. What also prepared me for this role is, you know, attending that conference that we recently attended in April, the PETS conference. Um, that really opened up my eyes in terms of um, preparing myself as a secretary for the Rotary Club of Tobago, Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago, I should say. All right. And uh, looking at the district mm -hmm. conference, that would have been the recently held district conference yes. in Grenada. Um, tell us a little bit about that experience, President Anne-Marie. Okay. Well, just like Anisha, it really has been an eye-opener because, you know, all the time you'd hear people say, you know, you must attend conference, mm -hmm. you must attend conference. But it's only when you actually go, you realize, you know, you meet with people who have of the same mindset like yourself, people who are driven for the cause of Rotary and people who are committed to the cause. So it was really, really inspiring for me. It really, really gave me the impetus I need to go into my role as president. I'm really, really grateful for the opportunity to have gone. All right. So let's dive on into some of the plans uh, for this Rotary year on the part of the Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago. Okay, well, first of all, we'll be starting off the year on, well, we have already started the year. It began on the 1st of July and it ends on the 30th of June next year. But I think it's very important that we start the year with prayer. So we're going to have a church service this coming Sunday, the 30th. It will be at the Methodist Church at 9 a.m. And due to the fact that that day, the 30th of July, is also an international day of friendship, we have kind of thrown open the doors and invited our other Rotary family on the island. So... We expect to have persons from the Interra Club of Southwest Tobago, Rotary Club of Tobago, as well as Rotary Club of Tobago. So we'll be all converging on the Methodist Church. I want to say thank you to them to opening the church to earth. So we go there and after we are going to have a lunch where, you know, everybody will come together and just enjoy each other's company, share ideas, months off, you know, plans, projects, that sort of thing. 
Yes. All right. So we're going to do that. Apart from that, when we move into now each month in Rotary, um, the Rotary has a Rotary calendar. Let me put it this way. So each month we have a specific theme. So after that, in July, we have August, which is really membership month. So the membership, the people in the membership committee have to plan an activity whereby we'll try and see if we can get new members on board. We move into September, which is basic literacy and education month. Here we have our back to school project, which will take place. We'll be distributing book bags to needy persons in the community. But this time I want to try and see if we can have a little community impact because that's one of the um, kind of thrusts, you know, one of the thrusts of Rotary International to have community impact. So we'll try and see if we can give our book bags to a specific class in a specific school. And we're going to try and see if we can adopt that school and work with them for the entire year. So at the end of the year, we'll be able to measure and see, did we have any impact on these children? You know, have we been able to move them from point A to point B? Or are they still at point E? I do hope we would have <laughs> been able to move them. <laughs> yes. All right. What would you say is one of the projects, uh, based on your, your time within Rotary uh, to date, one of those um, annual projects or initiatives that you look forward to? Anisha? Oh, okay. Um, well, for me, I actually look forward to the Christmas drive, mm -hmm. the Christmas sample drive, um, because you have that opportunity to give to the needy as well. We, um, if we have the opportunity, and what is good about that is that we have the opportunity to have that joint um, project with the Interact Club of um, Southwest Tobago. And, uh, you know, Christmas is a time for cheer. You want to spread that cheer to those who really can't afford um, to have that level of happiness or spread the level, have that, um, that happiness that others are able to enjoy. So we try to spread that chain. And, you know, as President would have said, you want to have that community impact as well. So one of those things that I look forward to is that Christmas um, hamper drive that we, we do. All right. So for the benefit mm -hmm. of those persons looking on, and I said, we're always mm -hmm. hearing about Rotary. And, you know, in, in Tobago, uh, we have the, the, the collective benefit of our Interact Club, which is the Interact mm -hmm. Club sponsored by the Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago that caters to students 12 to 18. Rotaract, which caters to 18 and over, and the Rotaract Club of Tobago is sponsored by the Rotary Club of Tobago, and then Rotary uh, representing our professionals in the society. So for persons who may be interested uh, in the Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago, just give us a reminder, when does the club meet um, the times that the club meets and so on, and you know how they can uh, reach out, uh, whether by a social media or, or the means for reaching out to connecting with the club. Okay, in terms of um, Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago, our meeting dates are on, we meet on every Tuesday um, from 6 to 7, maybe it may go a little beyond 7, but we try to keep the, the meetings within an hour. Um, our office is located at Glen Road in Scarborough. That's Tom's Building, I believe. Tom's Building in Glen Road. We are accessible on social media as well. We are very much alive on Instagram. Our Instagram is Rotary Southwest Tobago. We are alive on Facebook as well, Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago. And if you need to contact any of the members, well, President, myself, or the in immediate past president, our numbers are 6769-0299. 2908987 and 7392705. So we are very accessible. We are very much alive on social media. And I really want to encourage persons to, you know, to join the club. Um, sometimes you may say that you don't have time. Yes, we are all very busy. But uh, I think for young persons, um, it, it is a rewarding experience. And in terms of those persons who are shy, I actually had that experience with uh interactor who who was a who is a member of my a church of our church she was very shy very reserved and she actually joined the interact club and i am amazed to see the progress that that young lady has made in her life she's very much brave very articulate and um so i really want to encourage young persons and you know you have that self sense of purpose when you join the these rotary clubs and interact clubs um you have a sense of pride um and we have so many core values. You know, you have service, you have fellowship, you have diversity and integrity, leadership. These are some of the qualities that these Rotary Clubs um, instill on persons that join 
the club. So I encourage persons to come on board. All right, excellent. So Rotary <laughs> People of Action. <laughs> yes. I'll give you an opportunity uh, before we close uh, this mm -hmm. morning. Uh, anything else you'd like to share with us? Yeah, I want to just endorse what Anisha has said. You know, if anybody is willing and wants to give off him or herself, remember it's not a paying job, <laughs> you're volunteering <laughs> of your time, your talent, and your treasure, mm -hmm. please come on board. You know, we are always welcome. We have our doors open and we welcome and embrace each and every one. And I, continue to support us in all our ventures. And mm -hmm. I think some persons don't even realize you've got Rotarians working right where you are. You want to quickly identify the members of your board for this year. Persons may recognize, oh, they sit right with me and work. <laughs> These are people I can talk to about Rotary. I meet them on the streets. Okay, we have our membership chair, Ms. Dawn Dempster. Mm -hmm. We have our, well, our youth service officer, in the person of A.G. Julian. We also have our um, IPP, that's our immediate past president, in the person of Tracy Osman Ashton. We have our civics project chair, that's Hyacinth Rodriguez. We have our public image person, that's Dexter Trim. What else do we have? We have <laughs> our, Maxwell, P. P. oh Maxwell. yes, P.P. Maxwell. Yeah. Maxwell, he's yeah. our club trainer, so he takes us through all the paces of yeah. Road Tree. Yes, did I leave Right, and Rotary right? Foundation is Rotary IPP. Rotary Foundation, yes, it's IPP. All yes. right, okay, good. And your truly secretary. Oh, yes, yes. I'm your secretary. <laughs> How could I forget that? Yes, and your yes. president-elect. And, yes. and our president-elect is uh, Monique Timothy, so she will be the president after me. All right, yeah, excellent. Okay. So just a little snippet there, a little touch as we head on into the year, and certainly we'll be hearing from the Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago. Um, and I see, in case you're, you're wondering, the connection when I make the reference of sponsor club is that the Rotary Club is responsible for the Interact Club of Southwest Tobago in terms of those 12 to 18. But have no fear, uh, we continue to feature and to highlight the work of our, our NGOs taking place here in Tobago. And I know that you will certainly give us that commitment to be back with upcoming projects and activities. Yes, definitely. All right, yeah. thank you very much indeed, President Anne Marie Davis of the Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago and Secretary Anisha Karut Walcott of the Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago joining us here on set this morning. Give me a little insight as we start the Rotary Year which runs from July to June. So the year would have started as that July 1st and running until the end of June 2024. All right, viewers, thank you so much for the continued love and support and for choosing the Tobago Updates Morning Show. At this point, we're prepared to head on out to a break, but we want to remind you, and I'll get them to join in with me, that this is your opportunity to share, share the, the live, share the live, share the live. <laughs>